I guess this is recording. Yeah. Good evening or good morning, good night, whichever, whichever counts. Uh, looks like uh, medical tyranny is upon us. Anybody surprised? Governments, governments spend most of their time trying to convince people that they have the solutions for the problems they create. It's been shown that Fauci is responsible for the gain of function, function program in China, which released this crap into the world. You know it's illegal here in America, that's why he went over there. Why is this man still free? Why isn't he in prison? He lied to Congress, blatantly. And he's still the head of our government's medical program. The lies are in your face now. They're not even trying to hide their new world order. Especially in Australia. Poor Aussies. Whatever happened to you, huh? How'd you let this get this way? Yeah, millions of people are dying from this virus. A world populated by billions. through walking beautiful sunset here in Oklahoma I believe in passive resistance I believe it's time for civil disobedience it's worked before civil disobedience and passive resistance they got India its country back from England. It was passive resistance and civil disobedience uh, that helped to bring about the collapse of the Soviet Union and gave Russia as a, Russians a chance at a free market economy or at least the sorts of one. Uh, even though there's questions about their politics or kind of funny, you know, with Putin kind of going against his uh, political rivals in a dirty way. But Putin's an intelligent man, way smarter than the one we got running America. Who's running our country right now? Who's really behind the scenes? China? If that's the case, and China's already won without firing a shot. We don't need to go to war and go blowing things up if they've already neutralized their only opposition and have control of it, in fact. Money, a lot of money made with China. But all that manufacturing and all that stuff in China now was created by us basically given to them the unions which are socialist institutions made American products too high a price it was cheaper to move them factories to China to, to Mexico put a lot of people out of work a lot of factories closed down now Well, passive resistance, nonviolent actions. You go getting your guns together with your buddies and you go attacking the federal government or its institutions. You're going to find yourself all shot to hell and be in the news as another group of local terrorists 
and just gives them more fuel to go after all the other freedom loving patriots out there don't do that my understanding there are 21 governors that are opposed to the mandates by our so called president the man who was appointed to that office and not elected you know that the world knows that There was a day when Democrats were the Liberal Party. Now they don't even like liberals because liberals believe in free speech, human rights, um, free market economies, uh, women's rights. Well, all those things have been destroyed now. Women's rights have been confiscated by woke uh, people with rainbow flags men can be women now see I do know a transvestite he says uh, I'm not a woman I'm a man transitioning to a female lifestyle that was his way of putting it um, he knows he's not a biological woman or she does using her proper pronoun but uh, she knows that it's not right that she should be allowed to go into women's spas after all she's not a genetic woman doesn't have all the parts you know she used to have the surgery and I feel sorry for some of those to do because oftentimes they regret it after they've done it. But uh, children don't know, say the nine or ten year old child knows what sex is about. It's so deceiving. You know government wants to take control of your children they don't want the parents to have any rights over their child anymore school systems school systems have become uh, infiltrated by a bunch of socialists and communists that want to indoctrinate your children into false beliefs destroy this country from within sad thing I've seen this starting back when I was just about out of high school you know the first thing that happened once teacher unions got into power was civics classes stopped it's not a coincidence you know because civics and teaching American government the way its founders have established it the laws and why we have them you can't have that because it's uh, con contrary to socialist ideas it's about freedom free market human rights your right to own property to raise your children as you see fit freedom of religion and such well, socialists want to destroy religion it is a religion. It's a religion of state. You worship the state. The state's all powerful. Republics are supposed to be limited governments. The whole point is to have a limited government so that people are freed. They're free to determine their own fates and futures. It's just, government's just there to keep fights and disputes and trade between states regulate trade, trade between states to prevent states from fighting each other uh, to defend the nation as a whole against foreign aggression and to make trade deals with other nations um, under rules of law which are voted on uh, 
we don't have that. We haven't had that since Georgie Bush, his Patriot Act. We're under rule of decree now, executive orders. Police state was formed then. And um, 9-11, though it was done by terrorists from overseas, they were all paid by our government to do it. They were all here being trained by our government to fly those airplanes. Al-Qaeda was created by America. Our government created it to fight the Soviet Union in Afghanistan. So was ISIS and the Taliban. See, our government created the terrorists which we had to fight. We fought them for 20 years because of it. What's the result? How many people died? How much money was spent? To be wasted and thrown away. Slap in the face of every patriot that fought for our country, thinking they were fighting for our country. They weren't fighting for our country, never were. Haven't been for, you know, Vietnam wasn't fighting for our country. They were fighting for the interests of rich financial backers. All, all wars are bankers' wars. They all are. It's all about the money and the power. It has nothing to do about your freedoms or liberties or the freedoms and liberties of people in other countries. Countries have their own self-determinism. That's why we lost in Vietnam, because the North had the determination and the will to establish their own government and their own life. The South was corrupt propped up by our corrupt bankers. I lost a lot of friends over there thinking they were fighting off commies. Go to Vietnam now, you're welcome. Tourists are, are welcome there. They're actually friends now. And allied against Chinese aggression in the South, South China Sea. Perhaps in the future the Taliban will be allies and friendly, fighting, helping us fight off the Chinese aggression there. But I don't think so, because they've made deals with China already. China's already got deals to build roads, mine resources. They've already got contracts with the Taliban to do that. You know, a lot of them Black Hawks and Abrams tanks have probably ended up in China already, so they can back engineer them. Make something stronger and better. Well, that's the way it is, isn't it? Well, I'm just glad that I live in one of the states with the 21, with, uh, the, one of the states with those 21 governors that oppose Obama's uh, mandate, medical tyranny, and one world order. These states have their own determination. They're not locking people down. They're not mandating crap. They're not making you a second class citizen because you didn't take their jab. If you're going to resist it in a military way, do it under their backing. You know, the revolution would have never worked if it wasn't for the Continental Congress and the backing of the state's representatives. You know, they had the backing of a, an, established, an uh, established governmental institution that could maintain order, uh, something they could all unite under without being terrorists to their own people, you might say. So if you're going to resist militarily, maybe joining the, your state's National Guard would be the appropriate way to do that. Because uh, this may end up in a civil war, or at least a division of the states. You know, there's talk about forming a new union of free states. 
blue states had their socialism watch them crumble and fall with them within you know the red states look at the map where's all the food come from where's the majority of food where's the majority of fuel you know the blue states might be more populated but that's not always a determiner either. You know, the, the Netherlands won their freedom from Spain. They were always a small nation. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the fight in the dog. I don't even think they're all troubling. Have faith. You know, uh, we should be prepared to suffer for Christ. We should all band together, free loving people, stock up, prepare, help each other out, form alternative communities outside of these legal restraints, government. can be done. It can be done. He's got to find people that know how to do it and listen to them. They're out there. It's kind of a troubling time we live in, but it's an exciting time as well. These things are going to happen. They've been predicted for thousands of years. We've seen such things happen before in Europe. And uh, we must fight and resist it. Uh, the mainstream media ain't showing you all the protests going on around the world. Especially in states, countries like Germany. Where they suffered greatly because of what they did before falling for the mass psychosis it's what we're facing now is mass psychosis one of the most dangerous things to happen to society and it's going on throughout the world brought on by constant fear mongering constant threat of dangerous wars and such these things constantly giving you fear amping it up each time amping it up Who's pushing all that fear? They're the enemy. Whoever's pushing all this fear is the enemy. They're the enemy of the mind. Don't let them control your mind. Don't let them cause you to fear. Always preach no fear. Do not be afraid. If you believe in God, give that fear to Him. Let Him know. You need help in this. Fight that fear. Take courage, knowing that there's a higher power. And death, death is nothing to be really afraid of. It isn't. Be more afraid of becoming a slave to the system. feeling that will be COVID canceled popping up for your safety of course it's funny how they all look kind of like concentration camps from you know, Germany World War II almost designed in the same shape that's uh you know I might end up being in one of those someday with alongside of some of you I'll be on the escape committee. If they don't kill me outright, which they probably will. I'll be one of those that shoot outright. Can't have uh, idealists, you know, running around, starting trouble, can they? They won't 
people to obey. Don't obey. Don't obey. Simple as that. Don't do what they tell you to do. They point a gun at my head tell me you're taking this shot. We're gonna shoot you. We just might as well pull the trigger. I've already had the sickness. Like a bad cold for about a week. I'm fine. I'm probably better off now. And people have been vaxxed. So it's a natural immunity. I've been around sick since, and I haven't got sick. Not sick from it at all. I probably have a built a natural immunity now since I went through it and survived. You know the sickness is around 98% survivable. And they scare you with all these cases. Two more, 200 more cases. Cases are not sick people. They're not dead people. The amount of people that they found positive for the virus in their systems. Hospitals aren't overcrowded. Emergency rooms, if they're crowded now, it's because they lack of doctors and nurses. You know, they fired a lot of them back uh, when they stopped all of the, uh, all of the uh, operations and such which weren't considered vital for your survival. Now they're not letting pregnant weeds into see heart doctors because they didn't get their shot. Well, she's pregnant. You don't know what the effects of that shot's going to be on her on born. Now, now she's got a risk of heart problems and probably have to have a baby at home because uh, they won't let her in a hospital because she hasn't had her shot. The insanity of it all. Doctors breaking their oath. Because of what? Fear? Doctors afraid of the sickness? What kind of doctor are you? You had an oath. You know the procedures to prevent yourself from catching these things. If you had your shot, why are you worried about other people that haven't? Oh. Because of... All these different variants are coming from the people that's been shot. Oh yeah, get your boosters. Get your boosters. That's going to last forever. How many times are you going to get your boosters? You're going to get boosters every two months? Every three months? The rest of your life? What's it going to do to your brain? What are they putting in that shot? They don't even tell you the ingredients. How are you going to know you're allergic to it if you don't know what the ingredients are? You know, I got out of a lot of those injections and stuff they made people take and they went to school. A religious exemption. You know, my father, he had polio after getting a polio shot when he was young. He was almost bedridden for almost a year before he recovered. He recovered before I was born. Some of my health issues that I had when I was younger were probably from that. A lot of my bone issues I have today are probably from that. I don't tell you how many people got sick from the uh, from the smallpox infections. You know, the Spanish flu may have actually been a result of the of the injections they gave the soldiers going over to the war. Pharmaceutical companies have been shown and proven in court to be unethical, and they were fined heavily for it. However, those fines are probably one tenth of one percent of their income. Pharmaceutical companies spend more money in advertisement than any other company in this country. What's your news? Who's the advertisements? Who's doing all these ads? 
Hmm? And you see that ad for that drug that they're trying to push on you, which you really can't take without a doctor's prescription. So they want you to go in there and tell your doctor, oh, I need this. You know, listen to the fast talking at the last, the disclaimer. Do you really want those conditions to possibly happen to you? They're not there to cure whatever it is that they're treating. There's no money in cures. It's been a cure for cancer for years. You ain't gonna get it. There ain't no money in cures. I cure you and you go home, you're well. They don't need your drug company anymore. They need their drugs. Pharmaceutical industry has always been a con. Get you hooked on their drugs. Their natural cures and uh, natural medicine has pretty much been stopped. A lot of these doctors have disappeared. And killed off that practiced the natural medicine. Why would that be? No money in cares. Now we got a new world order tyranny, the great resets upon us, and China is the model. They want a one world communist order like China where only the elites have any power and wealth and all of you are just serfs. You do your job told. Or you end up in a re-education camp, death camp. Ain't no go to hell. And excuse my French, fuck you, Joe Biden. Stay at peace, everybody. Don't let them, don't let them rule your mind with fear. Only the brave are free. God bless you all.